not giving an F. This is a topic that I've actually wanted to talk about for a really long time. And I guess this is the time to do it. So um, on this episode of Quick Shots, I'm going to talk about the art of not giving an F. So let's get into it. So not giving an F, I'm not going to curse on this podcast because I don't want to I don't want to make this explicit content, but not giving an F is an art. Some people learn how to do it. Some don't. Some just really care about everything, and that's okay as well. But I really just want to talk about not giving an F because a couple years ago, I cared literally about everything that I did and what everyone thought of what I did. And yeah, so... And I kind of learned along the way in the path of life that not giving an F is just sometimes what you, you got to learn to do because not everything that you do really matters. Now, before I start going into not giving an F, I want to make like a quick little asterisk mark that there are some things that you should care about, obviously. Like I'm not saying don't give an F about your family because that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm not saying don't give an F about, I don't know, your friends or whatever. Like those are obviously things that you should care about. And if you're doing something wrong and they call you out on it, that's something that you should care about. But not giving an F is really about like the little things in life, like a perfect example of not like something that you shouldn't give an F about is what like you post on Instagram. Like if, if if for like fitness influencers and things like that, I know that you guys get like a lot of hate for posting, you know, you lifting or, you know, doing a workout, picture of you in the mirror, and you're really doing it to motivate people, and some people just take it the wrong way, or you're just doing it because you want to do it. Like, I I don't know what's going through your head. I can't read minds, but, like, you can't care what other people think about you of what you're doing, because if that's what makes you happy, like, go do it. Like, it, at the end of the day, if you enjoy doing that and you think that this is going to benefit other people and motivation, then, then do it. You should not care. You should not give an F about what other people are going to say about you because of what you do. Perfect example, starting a podcast. Everyone has a podcast nowadays. Like People said, oh, that's really original, Ronan. You're starting a podcast. And let me tell you, I didn't care. I did not give an F about what people thought of me when I wanted to do this because I know I talk about topics that not a lot of people want to talk about in life and people are kind of scared to speak their mind or whatever it may be and they don't like being transparent but at the end of the day I could not care less because this is what I wanted to do this is something that I wanted to pursue and I didn't really care if I could care less if one person listen to my podcast. I love if a hundred people listen to my podcast or if one people person listens to my podcast. It doesn't really make a difference to me because at the end of the day, I have conversation with people. I try and teach people about different topics. But anyway, this is kind of getting off track and, you know, turning into, you know, my story, which I don't really want it to turn into. But at the end of the day, I did not care what anyone thought about when I started this podcast. So, the art of not giving an F. It's an art. It really is. There are some things that like can dwell on you forever. Like yeah, at the end of the day, especially people with like mental disorders and things like that, anxiety, OCD, whatever it may be, they make like one little mistake and they think about it forever and they think that people are going to judge them differently because of something that they did that might have been embarrassing or whatever it may be, or, you know, they didn't really look good in this picture, and they care a lot about it, and the art of not giving an F is something that you learn along the way in life. I think that more, more people care nowadays than don't with the whole social media thing, and everything that I do is going to be posted online, which also stinks, by the way, there's no fun anymore, but um, where was I going with this? That 
at people are so subjected to what other people think now because there's way more people that can see it. Like if you post something on Instagram, in reality, not this is that this is gonna happen most of the time, but like hundreds of millions of people could see what you you posted. In theory, a hundred million people could see what you what you posted online, and people go, "Oh, well." Some people go, "Oh, well, I don't know if I should post this because, uh, you know, I don't really look good." And what if mine? What if one day I need to go get a job and they don't see that I look good in this picture? I'm doing something stupid. That's a different story, obviously. Like, be smart what you post, but people care that like I'm gonna get made fun of because if I do this, like, I just really with artistic people, like. If, oh my God, I don't want people to make fun of my creativity and I don't want people to, you know, think that I'm a loser or whatever, whatever it may be. Like, doesn't it, when you say it out loud, doesn't it kind kind of sound stupid? Like, if you really say, say what you're about to say to yourself, like that you're thinking internally out loud and really think in your mind, like, are other people really going to care? Is it that big? Do you think that they're going to look that big into it do you think that they're gonna take 50 minutes out of their day and give you a call and say that you're a worthless piece of crap because you did this like i don't know like people care so much about what other people think of what they're doing and it prohibits them from doing the things that they want to do in life at the end of the day it's sad that that's our reality that People were so scared to do things that they are so scared of what other people think that they don't want to do that the thing they don't want to do the thing that they want to do. That stinks, man. That stinks because people care. People give an F about everything. Not giving an F is crucial to being happy, starting something, whatever it may be. Are there some things that you should care about? Yes, I'm not saying don't give a flying F about... I'm not saying don't give a flying... How am I going to phrase this? I'm not saying don't give a flying F about everything. I'm saying there are some things that you should care about, like I stated earlier in, in this episode. But at the end of the day, most things are so little and really minute that they don't, you don't have to care so much about it because that, that just puts more stress, more anxiety on what you're doing and can lead to several different things because you, you're overthinking about everything that you do. And if you just don't give an F about it, you're like, Let's do it. Like, I don't really care what people think. Like, at the end of the day, I like to do it. So, at the very most, one person, myself, likes what I'm doing. So, the art of not giving an F is something that is learned throughout life. Um, I think that it's a skill that you either have right away or that it's something that you learn along the way. There's a great book by Mark. Manson. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Highly recommend the book. It's really good about self-improvement. Kind of wraps of wraps up. This is like a little snippet of what the entire book talks about. So I highly recommend that if anyone's interested. Uh, and the art of not, of not giving an F. But guys, that's pretty much all I got today. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day getting through whatever you're getting through. And as always, y'all, keep on keeping on.